1994, the ship, whose name was MS Estonia, carried 989 people, including 803 passengers, from Tallinn, Estonia, to Stockholm, Sweden. The ship left the harbour of Tallinn on September 27th at 9.15 p.m. weather stations predicted bad weather, which was typical for this kind of vessel. Approximately six hours after leaving the dock at 1.21 a.m., MS Estonia's wireless operator started transmitting mayday signals. Half an hour later, the vessel vanished from the radar. The ship was built at Meyer Werft, a German shipyard in Papenburg. The ship had 11 decks and weighed 15,600 gross tons. The massive vessel was designed to accommodate 2,000 passengers and 460 automobiles. The MS Estonia was a Roro-type vessel that allows vehicles to drive in and out of the ship using their tires via a built-in ramp. MS Estonia was a ship traveling for 14 years under multiple operators' flags before sinking. Estlin bought it in January 1993, making it Estonia's largest ship and an icon of the country's newly won independence for more than a decade. The MS Estonia was a familiar sight along the Baltic Sea route, transporting people and goods connecting Tallinn and Stockholm. Authorities regarded it as a reliable vessel that had successfully undergone regular maintenance inspections. On September 27, 1994, 803 travelers boarded the vessel accounting for roughly half of its total capacity. The overall number of people on board was 989, including 186 crew members. When MS Estonia left Tallinn, the weather was pleasant and peaceful. However, as it cruised out of coastal waters, the weather started to change. MS Estonia met severe weather. The wind speed ranged from 15 to 20 meters per second. The waves reached an altitude of up to 20 feet, which is just five feet below the highest recorded wave height in the Baltic Sea. However, the climate appeared to be compatible with the common severe September weather in the Baltic. When MS Estonia approached the stormy waters, the passengers began to feel the effects of the ship's enhanced bouncing and tilting. A heavy wind from the left was also causing difficulties, and the ship started to tilt significantly to the right. The wind did not entirely cause the ship's lean. The crew loaded vehicles and supplies onto the vessel before departure, but they did not divide the weight equally. From the start of the cruise, the vessel was leaning. Even though the image of a ship swaying to one side may sound alarming, the high wind just exacerbated the situation. It was an everyday occurrence while sailing. It was not the primary cause of the accident, but once things started to go wrong, the uneven distribution of the cargo contributed to the sinking. Despite the terrible weather and huge waves, the ship is bravely cruising on pace at 14 knots of speed. Normally, the trip to Stockholm takes 14 hours, and the captain of the vessel was desperate not to be late, even if he left a few minutes late. A sizable wave struck the ship at around 1 a.m., and then there was a massive structural explosion from the front. 
The crew members on the cargo deck reported the incident to the second captain on duty, who ordered an inspection of the cargo ramp and visor. The front of MS Estonia features a unique design known as the visor. The visor, resembling those in motorcycle helmets, allows the front part to move up and down, granting access to the loading ramp and storage deck. The assessment of the warning lights in the storage deck revealed that neither the visor nor the loading ramp were defective. Therefore, the second officer carried out the journey, maintaining the exact same speed. However, the immense blast was only the beginning. Crew and passengers reported further strange sounds during the next 10 minutes. At 1.15 a.m., the second officer requested an additional checkup. This time, sailors didn't need to inspect the warning lights because of the visor. There was a big opening in the front. Separating the visor from the hinges enabled the ramp to slide down almost entirely without the front end. The ship's storage deck quickly filled with water. With loads of seawater on the cargo deck, the ship began to tilt drastically to the right. The crew promptly triggered an alarm and turned off all four engines to limit the ship's speed. However, there was nothing the team could do. The tilt was uncontrollable. Within 15 minutes, the ship turned by 60 degrees and water had reached the upper decks. The passengers couldn't figure out what was going on. At 1.22 a.m., MS Estonia issued its initial mayday signal. However, it was weak and unclear. At 1.24 a.m., MS Estonia issued a direct communication to neighboring ships requesting help. This was MS Estonia's last communication with any ship or authorities. The ship tilted more than 90 degrees, submerging the right side entirely underwater. The water was quickly gushing from all of the gaps and panic ensued. Many individuals returned to their cabins sooner due to the seasickness they experienced during the trip. Many of them failed to exit their cabins when the water reached them. When passengers heard the water and felt the ship roll, they began running to the top decks. However, the water was flowing in so fast that it blocked practically every pathway to the top decks. A water leak caused the entire vessel to lose electricity at a certain point. Darkness enveloped the individuals. It became more and more difficult for individuals to make their way to the top and reach the lifeboats. The crew members were able to deploy life rafts and help those inside escape the ship, but the ship's steep slope made rescue efforts extremely difficult. The majority of people jumped into the Baltic Sea's chilly waters. The 10 degrees Celsius water temperature, rain and harsh sea conditions did not help the passengers who evacuated the sinking ship. Several large waves capsized and engulfed numerous lifeboats. People were drifting in the chilly water some wearing only lightweight clothing. At 1.50 a.m., MS Estonia vanished away from radar systems. The ship sank with the tail first.
it soon became evident that the majority of the survivors were exceptionally strong people. Overcoming big waves in the chilly and harsh Baltic Sea required quite a bit of courage. After sinking for 21 minutes, Mariella was the first ship to arrive at the scene, where only life rafts were spread all over the place. By then, MS Estonia had sunk to the bottom of the water. A further four ships came soon afterward. The first helicopter arrived at 3.06 a.m. and played an important role in rescuing the survivors. Despite the courageous efforts of rescue workers, the final casualty count was horrific. Rescuers saved only 138 out of the 989 people. The rest perished from cold or drowning in the water. Approximately 650 people were unable to escape the ship, which sank along the way. It took just under an hour for the initial loud sound to sink into MS Estonia. Shortly following the incident, Estonia formed a joint investigating commission. The investigation, which lasted more than two years, identified the visor failure as the cause of MS Estonia's sinking. After finding the visor on the ocean floor, researchers examined it thoroughly to identify any engineering problems. The visor's strength, as well as its secure locking system and hinges, proved to be perfectly suitable in low-wave scenarios. Similar accidents occurred on other ships built at the exact same German shipyard a few years before the fatal incident. In 2020, underwater photography of the shipwreck revealed a 13-foot crack in the vessel's outer body, linking it to previous disputes over the transportation of military equipment. Estonia established a commission to investigate fresh results. They additionally stated that the ship smashed into a submarine. However, the newest report stated that the break was too minor to sink the vessel in a matter of moments. The officials finally admitted that the boat was not intended for use beyond coastal seas. Right now, 29 years after the tragedy of the MS Estonia, criticism lingers about one of the most tragic ferry catastrophes since the Titanic. Following the MS Estonia accident, the maritime sector made significant safety improvements and legal modifications to avoid similar disasters in the future. These included changes to ship design rules and regulations, enhanced safety protocols for passenger ships, and enhanced emergency response methods. What do you believe was the root cause of the MS Estonia ship's sinking? Share your opinions in the comments area. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.